All right, everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you all how we can compile and run a C program using command prompt. In my text editor, I have a simple C program that prints, I love pizza, it's really good. What we'll need to do is open command prompt. Now, before we begin, we should make sure that we have a GCC compiler. And to check that, just type GCC minus minus version. And it looks like I have one. So if you're missing a GCC compiler, check the first video in this series and I'll show you how to download one. Now, step one to compiling a C file is that we need to change our active working directory so that it's pointing to the folder containing our C file. An easy way to change that is that we need the file location. So I'm going to right click on my C file, go to properties, copy this location, and within command prompt, I will type CD to change directory and then paste that location. So our current active directory is pointing to that folder containing our C file. And to compile a C file, you type GCC, the name of the file. And mine is hello world.c. Then hit enter. So nothing appears to happen, and that's good. So let's take a look at the C folder again. This is the file that we compiled. It is an executable, and all we have to do is run that. So that is the third step. A dot exe, enter. I love pizza, it's really good. So yeah, that's how to compile and run a C file in command prompt. First, make sure that you have a GCC compiler. That would be, I guess, step zero. Step one is to change the active working directory to the folder containing your C file. Compile the C file with GCC, the name of the file, and then run the compiled file, a.exe. So yeah, that is how to compile and run a C file with command prompt. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.